Hey, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I have a very, very fun video for you all today. Uh, I think today is going to be a good opportunity to show you guys what it's like uh, making a full time living reselling online so a little bit of context quick if you are new to this channel or you don't know who i am my name is jacob and i am a full-time online reseller online i am currently in one of my storage units right now where i house um inventory as you can see these bins are filled with inventory a bunch of inventory on these racks and boxes and uh, just all this stuff and this is well where i primarily uh, work out of i work out of uh storage units so it's a beautiful day out and i think it'll just be a good opportunity to show you guys what it's uh what it's like making a full-time living reselling online i have been documenting my journey as a full-time reseller i have been reselling for about five years now my, my business has slowly been scaling and growing and it's just been uh really fun to kind of document it and show you guys um basically all my successes and my failures and uh kind of preach entrepreneurship through the lens of my business that's kind of the concept of my youtube channel i'm going to reiterate i think today is going to be a fantastic day to show you guys kind of what it's like uh making a full-time living uh doing this if you watch my previous video you know uh, i have been prepping for a bunch of inventory that i'm picking up today i'm actually going to be going to the goodwill outlet center uh it's about an hour drive from here and i, and I do this pretty regularly uh I, I set a budget set aside some money growing a pretty healthy uh budget so i'm gonna go pick up some clothes uh hopefully quite a bit of clothes i've been making some space in some of these bins for inventory and such and i think i'm going to take you guys along hopefully we get some really really cool and profitable stuff today uh and then i'm going to show you guys kind of kind of how i process inventory i'm going to try to get a jump on it today and get most of it processed today because if you don't get ahead of it uh it can really end up biting you uh well down the road but i just stopped by here really quick on the way to the outlet center uh because i had to pick up some of these bags um uh, because these bags are super nice for um you know, putting inventory in and, and, and moving them around and stuff like that. Now I'll show you that as we go. So let's get a jump on it. I kind of want to get there early and, get, you know, get, get the ball moving a little bit. So I am going to shut up shop and let's go have a good day. I'm going to go try to improve my business today and uh, let's go do it. So here we go. All right, so as you can see behind me, we got a ton of stuff. This was a very, very good haul today. I'm super, super excited to show you guys everything I got. Pull out the receipt. We actually ended up with 305 pounds of clothing. Insane. This is a typical like like day at the bins for me. I typically get between, yeah, about that 300 mark, sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less, but I'd say around 300 is pretty accurate. Uh, each one of these big contractor bags, it's been pretty well played out and it seems that each one of these big uh, 60 gallon contractor bags holds about 100 pounds each and I got three of them today, so a very, very good haul. And also these big heavy duty contractor bags are invaluable. They are so good i just I, I literally use them every day they're one of the most important tools for my business uh you can pick them up at a, a hardware store I, ma I make sure i get the really the really good ones and and you got to pay up for them a little bit they're about 20 bucks a box for uh, uh maybe about 10 of them uh, get the really good ones they're like four millimeters thick and they are just uh i drag these things on the ground on the on the concrete on the sidewalk uh and and they just uh they're <laughs> they're almost bulletproof they are super super nice uh and they've just been invaluable also that blue cart i bought at walmart has been very very nice as well i used to lug these 100 pound bags around by hand or drag them or whatever but now i just uh roll them in a 
cart and that cart can fit about two bags at a time so it's very very nice here's a couple quick hot tips for you i'm gonna start heading home like i said i got about an hour commute back uh it's 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 really pretty early i've only i was only in there for about an hour and a half which is pretty good i didn't get a ton of footage in there just because you know uh, time is so precious. I just had to kind of rifle through them all and, and get, get the job done and, and, and get back home so I can finish all this today because uh, uh, days like this are typically pretty long days. Uh, like I said, tons of great stuff from Patagonia, Carhartt, Marmot, uh, Sorrel, Birkenstock, uh, you know, the, the staple ones, Columbia, Levi's, Nike, Under Armour, tons of great stuff. I'm super, super excited to show you guys everything I got, but I can't sit here for too long. I gotta start driving. So let's get home. We'll break all this stuff down. I'll take you guys through my entire process of how I'm gonna list this stuff. Uh, it should be ton of fun. And I will show you guys some of my favorite pieces. Let's get on with it. I'll see you guys at home. All right, so I just got back. Traffic was kind of poor. They're doing some construction, so I, um, it took a little longer than I expected. But I am home and I am going to start processing and taking pictures of these clothes. <sighs> Man, it's a lot of work, but I got my first bag in. I'm gonna do one bag at a time, just for sake of um, orderliness, I suppose, and probably mental strain. So I got my bag of clothes. I got a couple inventory bins. I'm gonna get everything set up and show you guys how I actually take pictures, do the processing, stuff like that. It should be pretty good. Um, it's like Hardy wants to say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera, buddy. Good boy. Uh, so yeah, I guess I'll yes, I'm gonna get everything started and I'll show you guys the next step I got a long day ahead of me. So let's get to it. All right So here is my really really basic setup for um, processing and taking pictures of Inventory as you can tell I am working out of my home and if you've been watching my videos for a while now You actually know I typically work out of storage units uh, And I really like to when it's a nice day out, but it's the middle of winter It's been very very cold as of recent so I have been bringing some stuff home to work on but um I, I store all my inventory in storage units and on, on nice days i will uh list and ship out of them as well but this works for now it's a super super simple setup i use it's basically a command hook with a nice wooden hanger and i will just hang the items and i will illuminate them with a very very nice ring light uh, these are super super awesome they're great for um obviously filming youtube videos but also taking really really good pictures it really really helps uh and and even if your camera isn't that good or you just use your phone camera like i do it can really make a big difference in your pictures uh so as you can see here we got a really really nice garment hanged up this is actually a mountain hardware wool zip up uh, like sweater jacket these things are super super nice i found this today at the bins at the bins i pay by the pound so this was probably like a dollar i'm assuming and this will probably fetch uh 50 60 bucks super super nice item i have a ton of other items i really want to share with you guys at the end of this video so as for a basic explanation of what i'm going to do here over the next several hours is take pictures of this garment all over take the tags you know the details front and back all that stuff and once i'm done with that i'm actually going to bring the garment over to my kitchen island where i have a temporary workstation set up where i will actually be shrink wrapping the item bundling it up putting one of these labels on it giving it an inventory number and dumping it into the inventory box uh so it's pretty straightforward i have three big bags like that to do it but once that is done we will link up and we'll talk uh some cool items some numbers uh some of the business stuff and uh basically how i make a full-time living um doing this so yeah Let's get to it. Okay, so I just finished going through all of the new inventory items, processing them, taking pictures, editing, getting them into their designated storage, inventory bins, all of that stuff. It took me a little over seven hours, which is crazy. There was 340 items, but I'm super, super happy and gratified to get it all done man it's been a very very long day but that is the business i signed up for so i'm gonna go through the numbers a little bit with you guys today about what i expect to get in return for my business as far as revenue and profit and all of that stuff and i also picked out four of my favorite items that i got today really like nice quality highly profitable items. I think you guys will enjoy to hear about them. So let's get into the numbers first. I'll make this very, very quick and simple. Like I said, today I added 340 items into my inventory. Now, yes, I still have to post all the items, which is gonna be another five, 
six hours itself. Uh, but that is for tomorrow. But I got everything processed and yes, 340 items. That is a ton of items and a lot of very, very good inventory from a lot of very, very reputable brands and good quality stuff. I'm just super, super happy with how everything turned out today. So 340 items at an average listing price of $17.69, which is my current average listing price. After everything is sold, that comes out to a little over $6,000 in revenue for my business, $6,014 to be exact and precise. Now, so yes, a little over $6,000 in revenue is what I expect my business to see in the next 90 days or so. That 90 days is kind of how I have my sell through rate calculated and I expect a majority of the inventory to sell within the next 90 days. Now, no, I did not make $6,000 today because you know, there's cost of goods and there's seller fees and there's obviously time and all this stuff, a whole bunch of factors to put into play, so to speak. Uh, but after everything is all said and done, I can expect just over $4,500 in profit for my business. And now granted, that's going to take some time. And the exact figure is $4,598 dollars if everything goes as planned you know with the average uh, listing price and the average fees and um all that stuff that is what i can expect my business to see again in the next 90 days or so so there you guys go those are the numbers on today's inventory haul let me get into a few really cool items that i got today because uh, i think you guys might be interested a lot of really cool good brands maybe some that you've never even heard of and some really high quality items that i expect to fetch some good profit out of. So I'm going to start off with one that you guys have most certainly all heard of and it is Patagonia. It's actually this Patagonia shell jacket. It's a really, really nice, like lightweight outer shell jacket. Now, obviously Patagonia does very well for my business. They're a very reputable brand, very giant in the outdoor and adventure clothing space and everybody loves Patagonia. And well, I got this one today and it's a very, very nice garment. It's the only Patagonia piece I unfortunately got today but that's okay because I still expect to get around $50 for this piece, maybe even upwards of $60. It all depends on the market and you know, and there's a lot of factors that go into it. But yes, super, super nice Patagonia jacket. I'm very, very happy to have gotten this today. So that was one you have probably all heard of. This next one is probably one a lot of you guys haven't heard of and it's this wool hunting vest from a brand called Stormy Cromer. Now this is a really, really cool blaze orange wool hunting vest from a very, very cool company called Stormy Cromer. And if you've never heard of Stormy Cromer, they are famous for their old school uh, uh, ball caps that have pull down ear flaps. They are a Michigan company and they are known for making garments out of premium woolen fabric. And they're just a very, very cool kind of nostalgic USA company. And they specialize in hunting and um, um, just kind of like that heritage style stuff and this is a really cool hunting vest and these vests actually retail for over 150 dollars a piece and this today in particular is in very good condition and i expect it to get up to that 75 dollar mark or pretty close so, you know somewhere between that 60 and 75 dollar markup but i but i'm shooting for the high end because you don't see these on the secondhand market a lot and they're just, they're just very sought after very high quality hunting vests so very very cool item very happy to have found this today Okay, next up is a staple, a classic. It is a puffer jacket and it is actually from a brand called Marmot. And you've probably heard of Marmot. They're kind of in that Patagonia space. And this is a really nice 800 fill puffer jacket made for uh, the dead of winter. Super, super cool jacket. These things are super, super expensive on the retail market. Uh, the MSRP is probably between $250 and $300 for this jacket. It's a very, very nice high quality jacket. And I expect to get all of 50 to maybe even $75 for this jacket. It's going to be somewhere in between that range. We're kind of coming up on the end of winter. So some of this stuff is moving a little bit slower than it normally would if it was like December. Uh, but nonetheless, I really hope to get some good profit out of this jacket. It's just a very, very cool jacket. Puffer jackets, people love them. Goose down, you know, hard to complain. Cool item. And last is another really, really cool item and it's from Carhartt and it's a pair of their classic Carhartt bibs. Super, super cool 
item. These ones are actually made in the USA, union made. They have all the tags, all that stuff. They, they're just very, very cool. Sought after in the working community who actually likes to beat and abuse these on the job site. And they're sought after in kind of the um, modern hipster community who like to paint in them and or just wear them as a fashion piece. So it doesn't matter what part of the community you are in. These are sought after and they are just a very, very cool uh, working overall uh and these the last pair i sold i think i got 75 dollars for them so i'm expecting again in that 75 dollar range super super cool item i know carhartt's going under a little scrutiny as of late but i haven't really seen it affect my sale it is not a topic for here nor there really so super cool pair of carhartt union made denim bibs okay so that is today's video that is how i make a full-time living reselling online this is what i do this is a day of me getting inventory and it's gonna end up being a almost 13 hour day um morning till night and so it really is a full-time effort and granted i am self-employed so i kind of just work throughout the day it never really feels like i'm off the clock i don't really abide to the traditional you know i gotta work from nine to five you know i just kind of just work until the job is done and it's kind of just sporadic throughout the day a little bit here a little bit there and it kind of ends up being the whole day so i never i never look at my work in hours of work so to speak i just do it i don't know and i've been like that for a while now it's so uh, not something i really think about but people ask me you know well, how many hours do you work and all that stuff and well if i were to calculate it uh, i probably wouldn't have been in this business for as long as i have because especially in the beginning, if I were to calculate how much money I made per hour of work, uh, it would probably be half of what minimum wage is. And I think I, I, I would have dipped out of the industry uh, pr pretty fast, but I'm happy I didn't have that mindset and I stuck with it. And you know, I kind of see the fruits of my labor, so to speak, a little bit. Kind of a day in life. This is what it's like earning a full-time living or reselling online. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got inspired, learned something, I don't know, or just uh, were entertained, you know, that's okay too. Uh, obviously we're building a super, super cool community of really smart, entrepreneurial, business-minded people here. So if you wanna support the channel, obviously comment, like, subscribe. It's the best way to do it. They're all free. You guys are the best. I will see you guys next time. Lots of, lots of fun videos in the pipeline uh, for this channel. So, you know, stay tuned. You guys are the best. Uh, in the meantime, be good to one another and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.